this morning, an artist whose work has been seen by more than a billion people is getting ready for a new year of shows. Michelle Miller spent some time with the painter who's always taking pop culture to the max. Happy New Year's and good morning, Michelle. Happy New Year. Well, Peter Max rose to fame in the 1960s with his psychedelic figures and vibrant colors. To this day, he remains a star of the art world and a painter whose life and career are as colorful as one of his canvases. So this is where the magic happens. This is where it happens. For 50 years, artist Peter Max has been a mainstay on the American art scene, churning out thousands of works on just about every surface. Canvases, stages, airplanes. Okay. All of these are original. Yeah, these are all painted. So what I'm going to do today is I, I want to sign them. Each Peter Max so original bears his unique here. signature, though it might be argued that his true signature is color. So with a piece like this, does Ringo call you up and say, hey, I want a colorful piano? When Beatles drummer Ringo Starr wanted to customize his Baldwin piano, he mailed one to Peter Max. And I figured, mm, let me do this. It's going to be red. This I'll do in peach. This maybe in pink. And then I started painting it. So now Baldwin was so excited that I did a nice piano for, for, for Ringo. About four days later, I get it the same crate again. I decided to be turning the crate. We open up, it's another black piano. And I see a note in there that they wanted me to have a piano. So I was thrilled. I painted mine slightly different colors. Pianos aside, Max has painted a fair share of portraits for the rich and famous, from movie stars to rock stars to presidents. Do you have to like the person that you paint? Well, I don't think I painted anybody that I don't like. But, you know, I like people in general, so I paint them. So when I did Mick Jagger, I mean, it was fun to paint. I even liked the Statue of Liberty, and I like her, and we never spoke. What is it that has allowed Peter Max, now 77, to stay relevant for half a century? Asking him is useless. I don't even think about maintaining a relevance. I just think about what do I want to paint? What am I going to do now? What am I going to do later? I just love the moment. He takes what's going on right now, and like a really good journalist, he spins on a dime and turns it into art. Riley says Max's legacy is already being felt even as he continues to build it. What are some of the places that you can see the Peter Max influence and not necessarily recognize it? He's become, you know, an element, shall we say, or a, a building block of things like Instagram and Photoshop. Just think about the way that people, you know, doctor the photos on their uh, Facebook page. Take the image, do something with it. And what he does with it, of course, is he boosts the color. He, he, he makes it glow in this kind of iconic way. That's everywhere now. Max insists in his own yoga cool style that he doesn't think about things like legacy. How do you want to be remembered? Some people remember me for my color. Some people remember me as a friend. You know, different whatever. And I will remember him always. I, I interviewed him back in 1999, and oh. he, he carries around these two-by-two two cards, and he picks one up, and he starts drawing something on it. And look at this amazing picture he drew back then. It was the year I got married, me and my husband. And nice. I thought that was so incredibly generous yeah. Yeah. for an artist. And he did it not for only for me, but the cameraman, anyone he came into contact with. It was just wow. such a lovely notice, I thought. I love it. Beautiful piece. Thank you, Michelle. Happy New Year. Fate, fate is something, yeah, isn't that's it? That's right.